Hello Terminators! Today we are going to talk about air units. These, these things here. Uh, from your biplane to fighter planes, your zeppelins to airships, transports. Uh, so these all, all of these units are always approaching the same way. Your location you have chosen to, to use it against. And although, you know, in the beginning when you start using them, it might feel that sometimes they just come from the random corner of the map that has no sense. But in reality, uh, they always approach your target from the nearest side of the map. So for example, this airstrip would be approached from the embassy side and so on. And actually to better describe how they work, I will jump into the War Academy. Stay tuned. So here we are in War Academy and looking at one of the enemy bases. Uh, why I came to the War Academy is basically I, here I can easily uh, show you uh, the different uh, tiles and uh, distances from different corners to, to certain buildings. Uh, because here I can just quickly show the war creed and, and calculate or or count all the distances. Uh, but um, how you can actually do it without the war academy quickly? Uh, so in the beginning of each each attack, what you should do is basically zoom out and then try to then uh, in your mind draw a straight line from the right corner of the map. to the left corner of the map and the same here from the top corner to the bottom corner so what you now effectively did was you divided the map into four air spaces because there are four corners of the or sides of the map so that will effectively divide this all the map into four triangles so anything that would be in this triangle, for example, your air units would approach from this side, from the embassy side. Same goes here. Any, any target that you choose in this uh, uh, area, your air units would approach from here. So it's, it's pretty easy to actually um, understand it and grasp it quickly when you look at the enemy base. Um, what you can now check also is how accurate I actually was drawing. I know I was a bit off on the, on, on the horizontal line, but um, if, if I look at the work read now, okay, you can see basically in the work read, uh, this is the true true grid of the enemy base. So I was quite close, uh, and for the if you're actually hesitating or calculating very important air, air target then you should actually count all the small tiles that it actually takes to the distance to understand the distance of, of, of the target um, and, and if you understand that this is how the air units work and what you also need to understand is that the air units are choosing to approach the target based on the distance from the absolute size of the map. So, for example, in the left-hand corner here, there's a lot of uncleared forest. This is actually also part of the enemy base. And when you're attacking with the air units, you need to understand that. So, for example, these mills here. For example, this mill looks clearly closer to this side of the map than it does to this side. But in reality, because there's two uncleared forests here, my air units would actually approach it from the left-hand side. And um, to prove it is, is basically this. So uh, two uncleared forests, that's a total of 12 units. Because uh, one uncleared forest is six units wide. So so it's 12 units together from this side and actually 11 units from this side to the and to this mill so 
your air units would actually approach from the Alliance gate side although it visually looks that they would approach from the from the bottom left side and how you can actually count all these units is uh, you should know that different different buildings for example all the wonders as well as the barracks these are all five units wide and wi five units deep so so for example this is five units one road is one unit farm is three times three and to actually explain it better show it better I will, I will show you the grid as well so three and then um, there is additional two units on the road here until the mill so so basically how you can count it is up until the road there's uh, five units then there is six units of mills so that's eleven units and from this side there's two uncleared forests that's twelve uh, and and this you can count uh, when you're when you're doing your attack on yourself um, now let's jump into the next example and this is uh, actually where I can prove my theory also with the video um, so for example uh, let's hide the war grid here is uh, one of the enemy bases that I that I had to attack and as I was actually dropping all my units uh, in the bottom here next to the tower so I wanted to clear out this area here and then I would be able to hit this mortar with my air units because I would take down the air defenses um, but what I don't want is my air units to approach this mortar from the top right hand side from the embassy side because here is also fourth and and one tower that would cause harm to my air units so is it possible to approach this mortar actually from the bottom side because if you actually count the units you will find out that from the embassy side it actually is 14 units to the mortar so it's much closer from the embassy side than it is from the harbor side because from the harbor side if you count all of these small units it's actually 16 units to the mortar but uh, but now where it really matters that you know how the air units work is you can see that there is a one small corner here if I will paint it for you you can see that there is a, a mortar is three times three and this bottom bottom unit here this is actually divided into two so uh, this very small small corner here actually is part of the bottom right hand side airspace so if I would in the attack zoom in and and at, uh, target my air units on this small corner of the mortar my air units would approach from the bottom side and to prove it I actually have this on a videotape so here you can see the um, attack uh, in action so I did all my drop here uh, as I said and now basically waiting for the for my officers to clear these air defenses um, so now the air defense is down I will zoom in to the, to the maximum zoom because I re to need to reach the very corner of the mortar so it was so close to the corner that you saw one plane actually went to the anti uh, tank gun but all of the planes approach this mortar that is actually closer to the top right hand side from the bottom as it just saw and that was just utilizing your knowledge into understanding that there was this small small corner on that building that actually allowed me to approach it from the bottom uh, let's jump back into the war academy 
so here is the last thing I wanted to comment uh, in the Bar Academy. So basically, it's uh, to prove that the distance actually is counted from the absolute uh, si absolute sides of the map. So you can see here there is a one line of forest that is not uh, taken down. So, uh, but I I really need to count still the forest also part of part of the map or part of the base because you can see here it's 17 units from the absolute terms absolute side of the map from both left and right side uh, bottom right and bottom bottom left so basically back in the day when I was attacking this base uh, for me the location of this forbidden city seemed near perfect because it's well defended and to me I was not able to uh, know which side of my which side of the map my air units will strike because back in the day I thought it's just absolute units until the building and then if it's equal 17 and 17 it would be uh, basically a coin flip in reality I need I know now that when I just click on this uh, when I just click on this side here my planes will approach from the bottom right hand side if I click somewhere on the Forbidden City in this uh, area then my planes would approach from the bottom left hand side but and, and this is actually not a great placement for the Forbidden City because you can see it's actually in the center of the map so I can freely choose whatever side of the of the map I want to approach this forbidden city because th it th this is divided by all of the four airspaces on the map so I am actually fully in control where my air units will approach this this forbidden city as it's as is always the case if you know and have done your homework about the airspaces um, so here I just wanted to I can show you the video how my air units actually will approach from the bottom right hand side uh, although visually uh, it might look like actually the closer side is is from here bottom left hand side but visually is not correct because you actually need to count the units because uh, units wise it's actually 17 from the here and 17 from there so Let's take a look at the video. So here is the attack in action. So uh, first thing you can see is uh, when the airship comes, it actually approaches the Forbidden City from the bottom side of the map, bottom right hand side. Um, and that is uh, because the distance to the Forbidden City is measured, as I said, from the absolute size of the map. So all the uncleared uh, forest and everything. This is always part of the map when when it comes when it comes to their air units. So this is something you just need to know. And uh, and of course, then controlling the actual detail. For example, when your forbidden city is divided into different airspaces, then you need to have click on the actual spot that uh, makes sure that your units are, or air units are approaching from the side that you are actually aiming for. I hope it was useful and uh, you will dominate even better your opponents by, by always knowing where your air units are approaching the base. Um, at least in the in the war attacks you can always always count the distance and make sure you're coming from the right side. From the regular attacks just zoom out and visually divide the base into four airspaces. Thanks.